Thanks for sticking with us. We switch gears now just a bit to women's track. We're joined by North Central head coach Carrie Cluckhone and senior Sheila Walls. Coach, best team finish since 1997. I'd imagine uh, coming back from Ohio, you got to be pretty happy. Oh, we're thrilled with the year. Um, going into nationals, we were ranked 19th, so moving up 12 spots was excellent. We had six points going into the meet, and Amanda got six on the first day for us in one race. So she really set the tone, but it really capped off a great year with cross country and track and field for our women's team. And you talk about that triple crown. I know that was something in the conference that you guys were pretty proud about. Uh, just goes to show, you know, the testament of this veteran group that you guys had. Definitely. Um, they're great role models for all of our younger athletes on our team and really show, have shown them and paved the way to show them what it is to be an excellent team. And we've talked a lot about, you know, being a winner it can't be just a one-day thing. Mm -hmm. It's a lifestyle that you have. It's a way of being and putting, you know, day-to-day -day the work in, being disciplined, and being able to see something bigger than yourself. Um, the outcome will end up being what you want if you, you can actually resign yourself and really um, buy into the program and your passion and your comp competitive side is going to come out. So it's been a great year. Well, that's definitely showed. The three days were full of personal bests and gutsy performances. Let's take a look. We go straight to Saturday for this one. After bringing home third place in the 10K, Amanda Lesh trying her hand in the 5,000 meters. With two laps to go, Lesh is in the lead pack behind Williams' Jennifer Gossels and Pomona Pitzer's Annie Lydens. That's where the senior would finish a 1708.24, her fifth All-American honor this season. Sheila Walsh is another senior hoping to add All-American to her resume. She had the fourth fastest time coming into the 400 meter finals. Coming into the home stretch, it's Wartburg's Nevada Morrison coming across first with a 54.74. Walsh scores five team points coming across in fourth at 56.01. But her work's not done. The Cardinal 4x400 meter relay broke a school record in the prelims. They're hoping to top that in the finals. Running in lane six, Lauren Brightmore starts NCC off right after the first 400 and hands to Linnea Higgins. Higgins has the Cardinals in third when she hands to Krista Cota. Down the home stretch, it's Wartburg taking home their fifth straight 4x4 title. Walsh runs the anchor for the Cardinals. She puts the finishing touches on a 346.08 to give North Central fourth place. That equals All-American. Sheila, you take home All-American after uh, just missing out in indoors. How kind of relieved were you? You get through the prelims and then the finals, you bring home uh, that All-American plaque. Yeah, it was really nice. It was a really fun experience. I was really glad to do it after the whole indoor experience. So coming outdoors, I really had that goal in mind that I wanted to make it through to finals. And uh, kind of a good way, I imagine, to finish off your senior year, senior outdoor season? Yeah, definitely. I love the 400. has been my favorite race since freshman year of high school, so to do well in that was great. And also you guys there for the 4x4 relay as well. I know, mm -hmm. saw a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. You guys set a school record in the prelims, mm -hmm. come back out, run a pretty good clean race in the finals. So uh, a couple seniors on that squad, so I imagine you know the last race, last event, uh, maybe kind of had some emotions going there throughout? Yeah, definitely. We were warming up and getting ready and getting on the line. We were all just really excited. And then as soon as the race ended, we somehow gained all our energy back and had enough to start crying because we were just so <laughs> sad that it was over, but we were so excited that we did well and it was just a lot of mixed emotions. And coach, another big scorer from that meet uh, was Amanda Lesh, a senior that came back for the fifth year. I know you talk about the day before indoors, she emails you to let you know that she's going to be coming back for track. and. Uh, she showed it in a big way, coming back, winning the double, uh, or doing the double in outdoors and uh, being an All-American in the 5K and the DMR at indoors. Oh, it was a great season for her. It was obviously, um, she was a real contributor for her whole career, but this past year, she really set the tone and really taught the women, you know, how to perform and how to uh, really come through adversity to get to the level that she was at. But her strength level, her confidence level, her comfort level with everything mm -hmm. that we do is at a really high point right now. And um, getting two thirds at the national championships outdoor was just exceptional. Like she really put herself in position to do very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talk about this group, we, we've talked a couple times this year about how you guys have a lot of veterans, have a lot of seniors. Sheila's one of those seniors. Uh, where do you guys go from here, uh, kind of rebounding from uh, 
the great finish this year, but you guys are losing some of your biggest contributors. Right. We've talked about that different times. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can never replace your seniors, that's for sure. And I know this class especially, um, not just by performance and times and marks, which is great, obviously, to be able to win. You have to have top hitters. Mm -hmm. But it's really based on attitude and understanding being selfless and team-oriented. And yesterday we had our meeting with our returners and just said, you know what? It would be a real um, disservice to the seniors um, as they leave to not carry on the tradition that they've put in place mm -hmm. and to really understand and be able to guide and lead the newcomers that we're going to have um, in the tradition that we've set. So we you know, put not Wednesday pressure, but we gave them the opportunity to be able to step up next year and um, be ready when the fall comes to be able to really be able to mentor the new group coming in. The special women's cross country and track and field season brought home three CCIW titles and eight All-America certificates. But those aren't the only awards. Distance coach Mahesh Naryanin brought home Midwest Assistant Coach of the Year this spring. More on that in this week's What's the Word. He deserves National Assistant Coach of the Year, in my opinion, as well. Um, he put together an outstanding cross country season, an outstanding indoor, and an outstanding outdoor. All three seasons as head and cross and assistant and track, his distance women have done tremendously well. There are women that aren't here that were on the national list as well. Um, so he's done an excellent job. He's a great mentor for those women. He's a great mentor for all of our team, regardless of event area. He deserves it 100%. I mean, he puts everything in there and he loves it and you can tell. And um, he really, he's worked on individualizing plans for different girls and really multitasking and getting all the little things done. And I came in as a nervous runner and I'm leaving as a confident runner. And I think that says a lot to, as far as the coaching staff. I was very fortunate that I have great people around me and they made me look good. So <laughs> I love it. Uh, you know, they made me look good, but that, that award, that's a team award. You know, it, that's, a, that's, a, that's another award for North Central. So, you know, I, I, it's nice to say assistant coach, but it really it's, it's a team award at the end of the day. So Sheila, you finish up four years here at North Central. What are a couple things that you're going to remember the most as uh, you look back on your years as a track athlete, bringing home All-America in uh, the outdoor season, your last go around? Um, oh my gosh, trying to think of a couple of things to remember. Just the unity that we had and just the friendships that we've made. It's something that's hard to explain and you just have to be a part of it to understand mm -hmm. what it's like to have true friends and true teammates that really support you and just they want you to be the best you can be and we just we all wanted that for each other and it showed through the coaching it showed through all the girls freshmen through senior and it's just it's like a contagious attitude that's on our team and it's just I was so lucky to be a part of it. Well guys it's been a great season all around from cross country to outdoor and even indoor in the middle it seemed like everything was uh, going well for you guys but starts up again here pretty soon congratulations on a great season and take a little bit of time off. Thanks. <laughs> well, we're out of time for the Cardinal Report this season. This year's 36 episodes have flown, but you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun. I'm Alex Simmons. We leave you with a taste of what has been an incredible year in North Central Athletics. Quick shot if you're the Vikings. Kroger, short, and the Cardinals have knocked off.